Do you think you even aku or anything? Mimi. Mm. Even I or anything. If okay. Do you think <laughs> wambo na ku or anything? Uh honestly no. Like I have a lot. I'm feeding my family. I have my dad. I have my small sister. Yani ni kona vitu mob sana za kufanya. So it means tulipata na wambo. It was a win-win situation. Ni kampi a platform. Tuka ika tupe a wave. Sisi wote tuka julikana. Nicholas Kiyoko. Lekizana wazongo. Nicholas Kiyoko. Hile kipindi. A lot more is coming back. Hello hello na karibu sana to my YouTube channel manze kama uja subscribe please consider subscribing because a lot more is coming wale mnashindwa hivyo anacheka nini anacheka because shati yangu imeandikwa a lot more is coming sasa alikuwa niambia ungeongezea ka o ikwe coming ah so of course ukiona tuko wawili do uh, there is something big we want to talk about yeah? yeah because uh kuna vitu tulifanya na manzi wa kibera wambo mm -hmm. uh, the other day na ikaleta issues sana wasi walizungumza mambo mengi pale wakisema unafaa kusaidia wambo mm -hmm. uh, because jim ulifanya videos mingi story too mingi pale mm -hmm. so nimekuja like we just need to make things clear eh? mm -hmm. to understand wewe na wambo nani ana o mwingine ama wewe una o wambo ama wambo ana ku o si ndio wambo mm. unakaa umeboeka Nasikia vibaya niko na homa. Niko na homa. Mm. Nikuulize si corona? Labda si. <laughs> okay, so ah uh, hebu angalie huko kidogo, angalie side. Mhm. Mm Ojuwe na kuchoma. Mm. Guy, nitafuteni mambo macho ina. Hivi kwa aje? Niko poa. Uko poa? Yeah, I'm go I'm okay. You, I'm you okay. can see. I'm okay. Mhm. Mambo na huko aje? Niko poa but niko na kaa mare. Niko na kaa mare. Mm. Okay so if your video tuli tuli tulifanya na Wambo mm. wasewa libonga story mingi sana actually yeah. wakisema unafaa kusaidia Wambo hivyo ako wapi nilikuwa somoiza comment na nashindwa mm -hmm. like there is something people need to understand but mm. ningependa kwanza kujua mlimita aja na na, na manzi wa Kibera So it was last year and uh, yeah last year February I received a text several texts they texted they texted me on Instagram wakaniambia angetaka kukuwa featured kwa my channel nimeona kuna watu wanasema wambo me nimekifema sijui nini but i believe if i didn't have anything to offer hange ni approach that time to be honest so while in the text i don't know whether it's her or the manager they texted me on february i remember very well mm. After 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 days kidogo tu nikaona text and I responded akaniambia akona story anataka tupeane unajua wake like, wakati juu kama unajua hiyo story ilikuwa ni mambo na Shakila they had issues with Shakila It's about sponsor I have the screenshots so akasema about sponsor na nina nini and then akaniambia yeye ni Vixen ameyapia kongo makadhaa moja ya Willy Paul na nyingine nikamwambia it's okay I'll find time and do the story nikamwachia number nikampia number so Apo from there Instagram sasa yeah ni Instagram mm. so from there ndo tu tuka meet the first time the first time to meet up to meet Kibera but to meet up specific oh ah sizi kubuka hiyo place inaitwaje specific ayani Ah oh, tuko tunafanya uh, uh, sio ayani ayani imekuja juzi hata mimi nimeijua juzi so to limit i can't remember the specific name of the place but ni ndio utakaribia wewe ako sawa si ana zoom ako sawa eh si ana okay. zoom so to li... ule oh you mm. okay so tulipatana that time that day i had an interview nilikuwa nafanya ya maboy wengine pia wasani walikuwa na issues na na magic anger mm. they came we did the first video your time na aka address issue yake na Shakila and the video did so well mm. of which alikuwa anataka kuwea so that's how we met mm. yeah okay wambo uh, nikipenda pia kujua uh, nimesikia umetaja something to do with manager ujina nanya alimcontact mm. wao ukitafuta manzi au uh, ukitafuta eve what was the agenda nilikuwa nimemstock stock kwa interview hizo zingine za kina madocho mm. then <coughs> ndio nikaona naweza taka kukuwa featured kwa hiyo page yake mm. so and then so ikako ime happen wale ma bloggers nilikuwa nimejaribu ku approach walikuwa amenilenga mm. so ye peke ndio ali respond do ali respond late but ye ndio ali respond mm. so when ali respond tuka tukaongea tuka nini meeting tuka tukapatana tukafanya interview from there tuka tukafanya fanya interview kadha mm. okay like uh, you know kwa interview yenye tulifanya 
hakuna mm-hmm. mahali alikuzungumzia hakuna mahali alizungumzia jina ya brand ya Mongaive okay. but ningependa kujua wambo mm-hmm. uh, ukienda kwa Eve did you expect any help from Eve maybe akupatie pesa maybe akupatie rent chakula vitu kama hizo Honestly hata hiyo video venye ilifanya mm-hmm. ili ni surprise mimi mm-hmm. sikuwa na expect video yangu iende viral honestly siko na expect video yangu yonde iende viral venye ilienda so venye hiyo video ilienda viral mimi nikaona why not mbona unajua ukiajiri mtu akulete returns unajua lazima tu mtawak naye so mimi nikaona venye hivi tumefanya kai video kamenda viral tena nikamcontact tukafanya nyingine nikamcontact yeah hapo don't lipush yeah, so ni yake kukwa kwa if material yeah. unajua watu kumbuka mabaya but there is no any person atokiangalia kwa comment section atasema iva lisaidia manzo kibera kaingia kwa if material there is no one amesema hivyo after that video ndo tulipush tukafika sasa kwa video za if material mhm okay kwa naendelea yeah eh <laughs> so nilikuwa Niki niki feel niko na ka story na takuonesha raia nilikuwa na contact so na come eh, nilikuwa na juu sasa after tuliongea DM tuli exchange number kwa DM so tukakuwa tunaweza access each other mm-hmm. easily yeah so ikakuwa nikiwa na ka story na mwambia ni aje hivi unaweza kuja kesho tufanye ka story nini nini ananiambia eh hey, but sometimes alikuwa na ako na interview zingine so okay okay, okay. Eh. ningependa ni, ni kukati because unajaribu swali yangu bado did you expect usaidizi wote kutoka kwa hivi like chakula rent anything starting from the video me si kwa expect anything hata yako enda viral in surprise so mimi nilikuwa nafanya tu unaona mimi nilikuwa natamani kiku kwa kwa kamera so venye mimi alinipatia platform nilikuwa natamani tu unaona venye umeshika hivyo mic mimi hivyo tu ndo nilikuwa natamani si kwa natamani story mob cause definitely nilikuwa najua niki watu wenye wote kina bonoko nani wenye watu wamekuja hivi kwa mic life to change tu pole pole tu life change so nilijua nikishika tu mic nionekane na wase hii imenitosha but sasa una mtu wa kukuletea mic ndio sasa shida ndio yeah sasa ndio venye alikuja mimi nikamshikilia nikamkwamilia kakwa nikiwa na story hivi utakuja kesho anaambia sawa but niko na interview ndakuja afternoon so that's how we worked tena story tena jota yanajua si story mob zet kwa tunafanya mimi niko nakwambia niko anaambia niko na story kesho mm. na haya tukika 3 days ni jut kwa tunafanya story na pima pima weather mm. nioneka itadupoa kile ya kwanza mm. so unapata zingine zimegonga mwamba ziko 30 nini unapata zingine ziko 50 70 so eh yeah, siko na give up ki, iki gonga 40 na kama 2 weeks na I'm contact yeah ni story gani ilikuwa kwanza mlifanya nyenye lienda viral Shakila. Ni hiyo sasa nimekisho hiyo ya Shakila. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But there is a question. You know I'm also an interviewer. Kuna swali naweza taka manzo wa Kibera ajibu. Amesema yeye hakuwa na expect anything in return. Mm. But I us we don't have actually any actually, problem. Actually actually our same musifikire tu wako na issues. Yeah. They, they, they don't have issues. Kuna issue by the way. Yeah. Manzo wa Kibera si ni juzi juzi tu mlikuwa home. Eh. Ile time walikuwa wamekuja home tuk, the last eh, after wedding. Mimi tu mimi tu kuita lakini ni sawa. Ona for your story. So uh ningetaka manzo kibera aseme unajua audience sometimes they don't understand mm, yeah yeah mbona alikuwa na keep on kunitafuta unajua ningekuwa na kutumia vanya watu wanasema mm-hmm. hangeendelea kunitafuta angefanya yeah. interview moja mbili I, I think aone so ningetaka aseme yeye alikuwa na benefit kiaje mm-hmm. probably the brand was growing ama yeye maybe alikuwa anapata gigs yeah. ama nini but mimi siwezi taka kumsemea yeye ndo anajua exactly alikuwa anasaidika aje mbona alikuwa anaendelea na hiyo kitu okay yeah so as i have said Um, Venye nimesema nilikuwa nikimtafuta tunafanya interview. Ikigonga mwamba ni 30 40. Ikifanya poa 70 100. So, ikigonga 40 nilikuwa naipea time. Nioneka ita pick. So naka kama 2 weeks hivi na mcontact na mwambie ni aje tupige. Niko na story nataka kuambia raia. So tunapiga hivyo hivyo. So, the more tulikuwa tunapiga Jupia mimi nilikuwa na share themo watu walikuwa nanijua. Juu audience yangu ilimjua, audience yake ikanijua. Unaona? Mm. So ikakuwa kila mtu ana share, audience zinapatana katika katikati. Yeah, at the end of the day siku kwa najulikana I was a nobody. So nilijulikana through kufanya interview na hivi. So ni, watu wakiniona wanza hivi kwa wapi? Naomba hivi kwa poa. 
pia alikuwa ananiambia mimi nikaenda kila mahali wa mbo mbo yani akienda kila mahali badala ongea na kwa tu I think kwa party swali vizuri muulize tena muulize the same question tena aipate vizuri ama umejibika wewe muulize mimi sijajibika like ulikuwa na benefit aje kutoka kwa Eve Mm-hmm. Na na maybe my job. popularity mm-hmm. and then kuna gigs one two three zilikuwa zinakuja clubs yeah then the more brand yangu ilikuwa inaenda ikigrow nika take another route nika cha kwenda the ratchet route so yeah. nikaenda yeah yeah alinikuta ali nikifanya hizo vitu za ajabu ajabu mm-hmm. yeah but with time nikachorea kila kitu juu sasa ka, ka brand kali change somehow mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Endelea. Okay, we actually yani ilikuanga ni story noma ku convince wambo sasa hizi ashajulikana na lazima aklin. Yeye yangu lazima ukaribishe. Oh, lazima nikaribishe eh. pole. Na lazima lazima brand yake sasa anze ku change because by the time tuko tunapata wambo, yani ungeingia kwa Instagram yake. Actually I remember this. Aja najua tu wajumi mimi nilikuwa na follow ambo at some point I was in church nakumbuka ilikuwa ni church juja kuna video alikuwa ameweka then nikafunga ngayo video eh hey, mtume alikuwa hapo next aliniangalia i felt so bad but from hapo tukaendelea kuminsistia na aka change aka changa ku post hizo vitu ratchet ratchet so to some point tu. yeah kweli mm. okay Mbona nataka nikushikie? Wambo ningependa kujua because you mentioned something to do. Hizo gigs ulikuwa unapata, unaenda unapata hapo unapati wa do. Like mbona life yako ikaweza ku change from there? Honestly, when before nipata ni naive, nilikuwa naenda hizo matwak, twak club appearance. So, unaona hiyo nakedness blah blah blah. blah ilikuwa inafanya watu wengi hawaizi wazozi yetu na wewe especially wale watu wanaweza change life yako kama corporate juu honestly corporate ndio wana change life ya msanii the deals and the what so unaona everybody alikuwa na distance na mimi juu hiyo brand chafu so watu wakiuliza ati mbona si kwa na mimi hakuna kitu nilikuwa napata wase mimi ni nyinyi unaona hiyo following mlikuwa mnani follow hiyo tu ndio ilikuwa inanipea motisha na na venye mlianza kuni follow mkani pressure nienda ge live. Mimi nikaanza kwenda live na nilikuwa napata do ya kukula ya kujisustain hapa hapa kule tu. But si ati nilikuwa napata ile ati do G30000. No, nilikuwa napata tu 3k, 5k mm, kusurvive. Yeah. So, there was no no much money. Yeah. Wasi walisema walijaa pale wa comment wakisema hivi anafaa kusaidia, hivi anafaa kuja kwa history, hivi anafaa kuingilia katikati for you kama manzi wa kibera do you think you even aku or anything mimi mm. even ni or anything ju niki mo approach channel ilikuwa yake si ati tulika tukafungua channel na channel tungefungua wawili ingekuwa amekula pesa yote but sasa unaona channel ni yake mimi nilikuwa namuomba ile ne, as in naweza kuja kwako nijishikilie So hiyo naweza kuja kwako nijishikilie ni kumaanisha nikipata kwangu ndakanyaga kubwa ku which happened. Yeah, so me she owes me nothing. Same same me I owe her nothing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If okay. Do you think wambo na ku owe anything? Uh honestly no because if if it's that uh, coming in that case it means right now i have over a thousand videos on my channel. Imagine each and every person i come out i feel nafaa kuwajengea nyumba nafaa kuwafanyia sijui nini mm. unajua it will be very yani haieleweki I, I actually yeah. it's like tuseme okay i don't know whether it's a good example to give but kuna kuanga na kama chachil show kuna comedians wao wanaingia kwa hiyo show si wao wanapewa platform na chachil yeah. then wao wana get known wanatafuta gigs wanapata shows hapo ndo wanaanza kujijenga so the same thing that happened that happens to us sisi kama interviewers ni kama wewe kioko mtu akwambie unafaa ulipe ulipie unsongo ufanyie nini okay me i don't have any problem kama kusaidia manzo wa kibera cause at apart from online sisi tumekuwa pamoja for one year we more friends we know a lot some maybe watu hata hawajui online yani sisi tunajua na kwa undani so okay. mimi personally hani anything okay. na mimi I don't feel like I owe, I owe her anything mm. but I can come through as a friend cuz mm. mimi I'm a friend to her na ilikuwa ni win win situation yeah. mimi nilimpea platform akapata platform in the same case with Gadimiti mimi nimepata na kina Gadimiti 4 months ago they have their youtube channel they had 2000 subscribers right so now wanaingia 100k subscribers yeah. it means they came to me they had a channel 
in the agenda agenda ya wambo ilikuwa ku, kujulikana so that aendele ku grow brand yake agenda ya kinagadimiti ilikuwa ku grow channel, channel yake so agenda yenye unakuja mse nayo agenda yenye mtu anakukuja nayo ya ndo ina determine chenye chenye atapata that's how that's how i think about it Okay uh umesema nyinyi mmekuwa marafiki kuna any time wambo she come through akise akitaka umsaidie na anything ama let me acha niulize wambo wambo kuna siku she approach Eve ukimwambia maybe sina sukari sina current ni jenge sijawe mwambia sijawe mwambia mwambia tu niko na issue ya kuambia wananchi unaweza nisaidie na mic yako na camera na unipe hapo some nights kwa channel yako some nights kwa channel yako nights miss jaleo some space kwa space. channel oh. yako okay. yeye amenipiga chenga <laughs> hivi kuna kitu na feel kwa kora yako ijakuwa dressed okay i don't think so what some is the comments did they affect you okay personally personally i feel so bad each and every time napatanga vitu kama hizo juu mimi mimi na wambo hatujai kwa na any issue mimi wambo hajai ni call like nime even nimefungiwa rent nini nisaidie you know as much as uh, we are friends lazima pia unajua kwa course pone mbuko na shida mimi siwezi jua mimi siwezi jua uko na shida na si ati na try kujitetea by the way yeah. i'm not trying at to at to sanitize myself what i'm trying to say is i don't know why people feel like they are entitled to drag me in this situation i don't know whether to. it's just because niko level yenye niko and to be honest i've also worked hard sure ukiangalia channel yangu iko na 1000 1000 videos hata video za wambo hazijafika honestly speaking hata zikienda sana hazijafika 25 ama 30 hata 20 hazijafika mm. we can count them so it means tulipatana na wambo it was a win win situation ni compare platform tuka ika tupea waves sisi wote tukajulikana and by the way if people don't know mimi the first video that made me known ilikuwa yakina madocho from Gota City they can check out hiyo ndio video ilifanya pia wambo hata amesema akanitafuta mimi yeah. that's why alinitafuta and we continue tukaendelea kufanya videos so me each and every time mtu anakuja na feel oh at sijui if if sijuali by nini you know i'm also a human being i'm working hard because i have my own responsibilities i have my own family Yaani niko na a lot on the table. I have life. school, niliacha shule juu I didn't have school fees. So I'm working hard also to kufanya ends meet. Like I have a lot. I'm feeding my family, I have my dad, I have my small sister. Yaani niko na vitu mbovu sana za kufanya. So watu kutrangi ku drag mse, but I think ni kitu huu happened. Juu napata ngadi mse kama chachi ila naambiwa oh hasaidi angi watu wa wenye wamekuja kwa platform yake. Yeah. Something that when happen, but I feel like the audience is supposed to understand. When you see me on the, kiona mse kwa channel yangu amenitafuta juu ameona hapa anaweza ongelelea issue fulani ameona hapa akikuja kwa hii platform itamsaidia maybe kwenda pahali kwingine pahali penye yeye anaona anaweza enda so mimi hizo vita unajua watu watu kwa mtandao they can make you actually have a beef that never existed juu kama mimi naomba tujai kuwa na issue at no point we've never had any issue but sasa ukiangalia hizo comments unajua hata mimi ni binadamu nitaanza kufikiria probably wambo waliona wa, waseme hivi ama walidanganya unajua we are all human beings and i feel i feel like yani mimi sikubambika na hizo comments that's why i felt like i have to address this is the first time that i'm addressing anything msi je address cause niliona ikiendelea hivyo itatu distance hata zaidi na wambo juu itakuangamia hata kini call mimi naona eh mimi siezi diazojeti na tena juu people will continue wataendelea anga kuni drag kwa shit zake so i feel like uh, watu wanafaaelewe hii social media platform it's the same way unaweza itwa citizen ufanywe interview you don't ex- expect sky macharia to pay you or to build your house or yeah. to do anything for you that's what i have to say it's all about working our asses off yeah exactly okay i think we are done wambu your final remarks Ah uh, Mr. Nala kusema na hata kwambia Kenyans thank you so much for coming through for me. Nawashukuru God wa bless na wabariki sana sana sana. Okay and also I feel like it's the best opportunity pia wambo aseme saizi yani ame planaje probably ali ya unajua wambo we've done so many interviews we've done so many controversial interviews mara na sema ameacha mtandao na amerudi like i feel it's, a, it's the highest time atuambie exactly saizi amejipangaje is it the germany that she's going amepangaje ni nini anataka wa kenya wamsaidie mm. na from hapo wa kenya wata expect ni juu the same thing wa kenya wakimsaidia wata after two weeks watu watasema tu si tulimlipia passport mbona hajaenda yani people always expect a lot so ni vizuri akisema yeye yeah, yeah, saizi from now amepangaje exactly Yeah, wambo. 
Oh, so, okay. oh, so Mimi plants Zangu Kenyans. Kwanza na shukuru mwanyali nilipia. <laughs> Kwanza okay. na shukuru mwanyali nilipia bath in one day. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much nilipata after seven hours. I was called. Siku ana expect by the way. got mambo one week but thank you. Kitu yenye sasa nataka kuambia nimeanza process ya passport na ilikuwa ni travel mwezi wa nne. But because in Akavitu zinaenda speedy, I can travel the first week of February or maybe end of January. Mm -hmm. God willing. If your process your passport is in Daraga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay. we expect Mambo Mob. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am here to stay. Okay. Pia ningetaka kujua Mambo unaenda like unaenda jamani kufanya nini? Unajua mimi sizitaka tena Mambo alienda jamani watu wanaanza kukuja kwa DM. Mambo alienda jamani sasa hivi ajarudi. Unajua kutakuwa na so many questions. Alienda alienda kufanya nini? Yeah. Is she safe? Amefika huko aje? Ni mtu alimuitia kibarua? Mimi niko interested kujua mm -hmm. nani huyo amemuita jamani. Mm -hmm. That's my big question. Mm -hmm. Like who is this person yani? Ni nani yani? Na kama ni na na kama alilipa transport na amemuita mbona hakulipa ni passport mm -hmm. you understand mm sio kama una feel na make sense yeah i'm getting mm -hmm. yeah ndajibu mm -hmm. first of all as i said ni melan hospitality so okay badala ni pike chapo dondo hapa wacheni niende ni serve wazungu sawa so, you never know unaweza ndio jamani hata ni nifungue restaurant yangu ya kenyan food mm. sawa so, wase msikwe na shaka mwenye alinisaidia kupata hiyo job ye yeah, mwenyewe alinitumia proposal aliandika proposal akatuma kwa hiyo restaurant mm -hmm. anaishi Germany mm -hmm. na anapenda privacy mm -hmm. so nilikuwa naomba Kenyans sitaki kumsema jumtenda sasa kumsumbua unaona mm -hmm. anaweza kasirika change mind juu nime expose so utakuwa so, in better in good hands yeah i'm in very very good hands of my long time fan amenisaidia sana sometimes hata na kwa gol most kulala njawa say na am reach out na mwambia ni aje mam ananiona hata christmas alinipatia kitu kidogo haki nashukuru sana so nikipata as usual mtu hawezi kupatia samaki na nyavu anakupea nyavu uende samaki ndio kesho uende net net ya ku so instead aniweke food on the table kila saa nishinde kwa dm ni, ni conjas juu nyumba juu honestly hizo ndio tabia zangu kwa dm yake amenizoea aliniambia ameni adapt so for mimi mwambia ilikuwa inafanya ende for six months mm. yeah but unafaa kuenda for naenda six months nirudi then we renew contract kama wataniita huko tena nirudi wasponi tena chini kenya mm -hmm. nikingoja yeah. tena nitafutiwe kingine so kitu yenye nataka kuambia guys mimi niko in safe hands mpatie ni privacy yake na msiende kumwambia sijui nini juu anaweza kasirika juu passport lazima ningejitafutia no matter what lazima lazima yani ningejitafutia hiyo passport so nikishajitafutia passport ndio ndarushiwa net net ni ya ticket atanilipia sasa nikifika Germany nikienda kwa hiyo restaurant niende nilete ujinga na uchizi yangu nirudishwe that's upon me but yeye amefanya 90% of my life Good. Yeah. Si basi mkumbatiane. We didn't have any issue. Ah, kumbatiane ni tu. Hapana, I think. Kumbatiane yeah. tupata title. Ah. <laughs> Ambo ni yeah. wewe wewe na kuja na kutafuta title. Ambo anafaambia watu na pia mimi mimi nishawaambia mm. like we've never yani Mungu anajua mm. we've never had any Anisho. problem sisi wote like we are always like a family maybe watu wa jongi mtu anakuanga behind wa, wa mbo one day watamjua na pia kama wanaangalia video zangu wa, wanamjua pia yeye like he has been a support system kwa wambo sana like Tumbe. sisi sisi wote wanne tumekuwa a support yani tumekuwa tu more of a family mm. so it's so it's so painful kuona watu wanaanza yani watu hawajui tulianza wapi unajua hiyo time hata nilikuja kufanya interview ya kwanza ya wambo hata sikuwa na kaivi hata nilikuwa na tuslipa hata wambo ananitumia ngapi picha zingine hizo za kitambo akicheka mm. juu like we've grown each and every one of us tume grow kila mtu kivi yake exactly si kama anataka kukuja but ni kama hataki <laughs> utakuja ampeni privacy yake wambo baby hizo za ongea yeah, yeah tunaona <laughs> sawa sawa amekataa ku hug but anyway ah, i think we are okay ya wambo tumekataa ku hug mm. We see how issue. Una tafuta una tafuta title uende uko mislead watu tena na title. Hapo ndio wasema tulikuwa na B if I know you. Okay. Thank you so much guys for watching. Tumekuwa tukipiga story na Mungai Eve.
Okay. Okay. Umemu ita de? Kamu ibu bro. Tiada di introduce. Ini support system yang manzo kibera. Okay, so ni aja se, mini manager manzo kibera, and nataka tu kuambia Kenyans. Iva metu support sana, baka mali tu mefika na actually awana issue, awana issue. Also nataka ku big up wasame support wambo. At least finally at a travel aja kutupigia kelele sana uko. Ama atazipigia uko. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. Yeah. From my side, sina la kusema. I think we are done, yeah? You guys are okay. Na wamekua poa kabisa. Thank you so much guys for watching. Remember to tune in next time.